TFC star, Miss Maxine. <laughs> Today, we are at the Arboretum. The Freeling Heisen Arboretum. There you go, I couldn't say the name, so that's why I didn't say it. Named in honor of former governor, senator, congressman, whatever of New Jersey, Rodney Freeling Heisen. He was the worst. Oh, <laughs> good to know. Uh, we're gonna explore and take some pictures and video today. And before it gets too hot, it's pretty hot already. Because you're hot. You're hot. You guys you are, are hot. I'm gonna get you lost. In love? In your eyes? <laughs> This place is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I feel like we're just like walking onto someone's lawn and being like, hey, we're just gonna hang out here. How you doing? <laughs> Alright, so I did get new questions for Ask VP. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Can we answer any of them? Oh, you want to? I don't know. I was, look I was looking for some new ones for. There you go. <laughs> Questions August 2018, so that way they're not confusing. Okay. Okay. So let's get let's cue the intro. Today we're gonna be answering questions on social media and photography tips for beginners. Photography is hard enough if done properly, but if one thing is important, what is it? Framing. Framing. You can know how to adjust any manual setting you want. You can put on any filter you want, but if you don't frame your shot properly, whether it's a close-up or it's a, you know, it's a product photo or it's a, just a landscape, which there's a lot of it here right now, it will look like crap if it's not framed well. Doesn't matter, again, if your settings are good or, you know, if your camera is amazing, it's literally frame it better. If you frame it, your settings might be a little off. You can fix that in post if you want. <laughs> but you can't fix framing in post. You can crop it and try to fix it, but you're not gonna get the whole picture that you wanted. Yeah. So you know, it's all about having that, um, and it goes back to having that eye, which can be learned. Some, like for some people, the eye comes first and the technical, come, the technical stuff comes second. For my brother, it was the technical stuff first and the eye came second. There you so, go. Definitely frame. Frame it. Fram it. Fram. If you could only have one social media account, which would you choose? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Mine, hands down, are, is YouTube, because I, the amount of flexibility that I can do on that I have on YouTube is a lot more than Facebook or Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Uh, the psychology of people going on YouTube have, you know, a lot of people are going there for long form content and learning. Uh, which is perfect for what I'm trying to do. A lot of the stuff I do aside from vlogs and this stuff with VP is also I do a lot of tutorials. So I like I like teaching visually, I like learning visually, so that allows me to throw in an super cool animations here. <laughs> and I <laughs> <laughs> um, it, just, <laughs> it allows us to, to demonstrate things visually, uh, so that way it further drives home the point we're trying to make. So, if anything, it would, for me, it'd be YouTube. You want to answer this one? It's a fun question. I mean, we're trying to do different things here. Yeah, th this is for me. Yeah, for this for is him, for it's me, like it's YouTube. Form. For me, I'm more of a. I don't know. For me, for the stuff I'm trying to do is mostly Instagram, because. Um, mostly, most of mine is visual and is perfect for people who have shorter attention spans <laughs> that don't really go for long form and if they want long form they want like an actual instruction which I can't do right now. <laughs> she can. She's, she's, she's had these moments where she's teaching me palettes or how makeup works yeah, but, and I'm, <laughs> but it's like but I'm listening it, like it's not it's not it's never gonna apply to me because I'm not gonna apply makeup but the fact that she's teaching me I'm always thinking like this could be a YouTube video right now <laughs> so. uh -uh. yeah it just it just goes back to what you're trying to do yeah uh, and who your audience really is if you're more if you're not comfortable with your face being in front of the camera it, I definitely check out anchor it's good 
it's perfect if, if you just want to do like voice monsters. <laughs> Those are cricket. That's a cricket? Well, it's a type of cricket. That could be a cicada. Ooh. Oh, it's a cicada. No, it's not a cicada. Isn't it? What was I saying? Oh, anchor, anchor. really good if, if you're if you're just comfortable with just talking. If you just wanna, if you, if you're just on the go, you can literally just hop on and just start start talking right now. Uh, and that's how you can really jumpstart your podcast. If you want to get into podcasting, Anchor distributes it to like 32 different platforms, and Spotify, and Spotify, iTunes. iTunes, a whole bunch of other places. And if you're if you're smart on the technical side, you can also make it into an Alexa skill. And those of you who are savvy. Uh, know that Alexa skills and voice uh, and audio is I think if you commute as much as I do or if you're on the plane if you're doing if you like listening to things while you're doing things you then that's the pattern you got to pay attention to a lot of people are gonna gonna be going towards the audio oh, realm. light hitting you right now it's lighting? Yeah, it's my forehead. <laughs> we're gonna continue walking. This huge, huge house, you know, this is some random person's house, you know, we're just visiting, saying, hey, what up? we're just gonna enjoy your backyard and lawn and, and get garden. lost and, you know, interesting, interesting insects bees? coming after oh. us. She's allergic to bees. Welcome to MTV Cribs. <laughs> this is about a, a studio in California. Yeah, about a 1500. A day. A day. After. <laughs> Alright, free your style signal right now. Let's go. <laughs> Love you.